Who do you think is the fitter of the two? I put this up for five-year-old kids. They will pretty much always tell you they want to be the bottom guy. And that's what we're looking at. How much exercise can you do for a given level of breath? How efficient are you? And breath holding is not new to the human being. This paper was written in 1965, 57 years ago or thereabouts. Breath hold diving was extensively practiced by our earliest ancestors for the for purposes of foraging food with evolutionary theorists suggesting that it may have been responsible for a number of unique human features. So to get our food, we used to dive down to the seafloor, forage around and come back up again. So we've been doing breath holding for a long, long time. So, you know, that's why you will see minimal side effects. Okay, if you're doing maximum pause and maximum pause and maximum pause, there can be cleansing reactions. But, but in general, though, there's minimal, minimal side effects from, from breath holding. The body can tolerate it very well. And the determinant of the time that you're going to hold your breath is determined by three factors. One is your metabolic rate. If you have a high metabolism, in general, you're going to have a lower breath hold time. So say somebody with cystic fibrosis that's consuming three or 4,000 calories a day and they still don't put up weight, their metabolism is very high. So if they hold their breath, they have a higher metabolism generating higher CO2, they'll reach their breath hold time sooner than a person who's able to go into a state of relaxation. So the more you can relax during your breath hold time, the higher your breath hold time. Now the relevance that this has with your patients is, if you go in on top of your clients when they're doing their control pause, you might make them a bit anxious. It's increasing their their metabolism and they reach their breath hold time a lot sooner. So allow your people to relax, <laughs> you know, have a passive approach, stand well back and stand well back from them when they're doing their reduced breathing because you will be able to see their breathing 15, 15 meters, well, whatever this distance is here is, it's about seven meters and you'll be able to pick up on somebody's breathing from that distance. Give them distance, give them distance. At tolerance to asphyxia, this is a trained effect. Some people, if for instance they have asthma or panic attack, as soon as they hold their breath, there's a conditioned response there that they're associating the feeling of suffocation with their condition. <coughs> Every time they've had an asthma attack for the last 15 years, they felt that they're not getting enough air. And now you're bringing them in and you're, you're having them hold their breath and they're saying, God Almighty, what's this person doing to me? You're, you're replicating the same effects that they've experienced with their condition. So there's a training effect here. The more you do it, it reduces your, your anxiety to the fact that you're holding your breath. So the more you can relax into the breath hold, the better. And there's a beneficial effect from a condition as well, because then when the person would ask me, if they do get symptoms and they feel the air shortage, it's not going to increase their anxiety as much because you're conditioning the more they do the breath holds, the more they're conditioning their body to accept it, that it's okay. You understand what I mean there? Remember before the last, we looked at anxiety and the feeling of suffocation, which is feeding back into the anxiety. So by doing breath hold, breath hold, breath hold, breath hold, you're conditioning the individual that it's okay to feel air shortage. And of, co of course, total body gas storage in the lungs, blood and tissues. If you pack your lungs, if you have big breaths, you're going to get rid of carbon dioxide, you're going to hold your breath for longer. If you take a big breath in and you hold your breath, it's going to be longer than if you have a gentle exhalation and hold your breath. Generally, it's double.